but it takes all the educated people a half hour to get across. Now, be the hit at the water cooler. Be the hit at a restaurant. Hey, you know what? You're walking down the street. Hey, did you hear about Charlie Sheen? No, what happened? And they tell you, go, I watched the news this morning on, on the Today Show. I didn't see anything for half an hour. Mike North told us all about it in about a minute. Here's what I'm going to tell you. Charlie Sheen, okay? It's a nightmare. His two kids are gone. Brooke Miller, who is supposed to be his ex-wife. Well, yeah, she is his ex-wife. Uh, she took the kids last night. They don't know where the kids are at. They're not, not at her house. They just took him and they're at some hotel, woke him up in the middle of the night and took him to some hotel in Santa Monica instead of letting them stay one more night in their beds. That was a bad move uh, by Brooke Miller. I'm a Charlie Sheen guy. Uh, so far, he comes across great. He was on TV this morning after they got a hold of him. You know, they, they made him sit there for a half an hour before they put him on. I had to watch, like, all the garbage. I had to watch Wisconsin. I had to watch the deficit battle. I want Charlie Sheen on. He's America's foremost entertainment show, and we're right behind him right now. We can't compete with Charlie, no doubt about it. So we'll see. We'll keep you apprised of what's going on with the Charlie Sheen situation. Jody Weiss gone as a police commissioner never never hit it off with the rank of file basically didn't get the job done the way he wanted to did uh cut down on the murders did cut down on some crime uh, i would give him a cc minus i would have given him an f earlier he came back pretty nicely uh he also met with gang members which people said wasn't the right thing to do hell if you watch hill street blues uh from the 90s they were meeting with gang members. Remember Jesus? Remember the Irish guys? They were meeting with Daniel J. Travanti, Captain Farillo, and Joyce Davenport. So there was nothing wrong with that. But it's better that he leaves. He's still got a lot of stains. Also, the Playboy Mansion got Legionnaire's disease. I think if you leave the Playboy Mansion with Legionnaire's disease, you breathe a sigh of relief. Uh, they say it's the water. Here, let me, let me tell you something. I've been in that grotto. I've walked through that water. I've seen the people in it. I checked to see if my private parts were still attached. Not because of something that somebody else would do, because you don't know what's in that water. I was walking and I see Vern Troyer, the little midget from uh, Austin Powers swimming. How do you think I felt? I said, I wonder if he's taking a leak in the grotto as I'm standing near him right now. I'm not a fan. So the Legionnaire's disease has hit the Playboy Mansion. Believe me, that in light of the last World War I veteran dying yesterday. How about that? How'd you like to be the last one? That's lucky, folks. James Franco, Ann Hathaway. Bad. Wow. Once again, I've said it earlier, and I'm just saying, I will be the host of the Oscars if you want it done smoothly, effectively, and you want it brought in on budget and under time. And Corey's got to come with me and my wife, Phoebe. We want some of the production so this thing can be done right. Uh, Barack Obama, Flight 103, uh, which was blown up, 270 people killed. Uh, it's now being told by people who have defected that worked for Gaddafi. Gaddafi ordered it. Now I want to see what the president does. I want to see what he does about this. Now we're getting more than one person saying that. Now, you got to prove it first. But remember when they let that guy to the hospital, he's supposed to die? That blew him up? He's still alive. Last seen hugging Muammar Gaddafi. So, you know what? Anything that happens to him is fine with me. You know what? I think we start off at trying to kill him, and then we work our way along. Okay? Um, also, the Bulls play Atlanta tonight. The Atlanta Hawks are playing good ball. The Bulls better keep their guard up. They are at Atlanta while the Atlanta Flames come in and play the Chicago Blackhawks. Today it's going to be about 35 degrees, going to be sunny, a little bit cool, but a very, very pleasant day. Now you've been listening to the Mike North 5-Minute uh, Half Hour News. And by the way, we're going to start twitting. We're going to start. We got Facebook. I'm answering your questions on Facebook. My question for today is this. Who are you rooting for, Charlie Sheen or any of his ex-wives? Let me know. We'll also put that question up on Facebook on NorthToNorth.com. Remember, on N-O-R-T-H, D-O-N-O-R-T-H dot com. That's been the Mike North 5-Minute Half Hour News. Brought to you by Rosemont. I'm Mike North for the Village of Rosemont. From the ninth largest convention center to restaurants to theaters, sports venues, and hotels. Five minutes from O'Hare, you got it all here. Rosemont, you can't miss it.